So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at the Zebra Z-Grip retractable ballpoint pen. And this is a somewhat anonymous ballpoint pen. It's kind of a high quantity office pack. You can buy 12 of these for about $6, or you could buy like, I think about 24 of them for $8, something like that. So they're affordable and they're usually sold in bulk. Uh, they're from Zebra. The name is the Z-Grip. It has a styling that's sort of like a Pilot G2 or a Zebra Sarasa, but it's not a gel pen. It's a kind of a, a nicer ballpoint. And you can see inside that it's clearly a ballpoint refill. But it is a low viscosity ballpoint, so it's a sort of a modern ballpoint, probably technically a hybrid. So uh, fully plastic body, rubber grip, plastic front piece here, plastic button, a little bit of metal there in the clip. It's actually a sort of interesting hybrid where it's a plastic piece, the straight piece of metal, and then more plastic on the end there. Zebra is sort of cut or etched or something in there. Uh, has a sort of cheesy looking logo in that weird font, Z Grip. It's a little bit like off or something. It just looks kind of like Z Grip is supposed to be this comical thing, which is strange to me. This is the medium. So I believe the medium in this, because it's a ballpoint, is actually a 1.0 millimeter. Rubber grip. It's a kind of a hard rubber, but it is grippy. and has these three rings, I guess four rings here, just to add a little bit extra grip. I actually find them to be uh, a little bit annoying. Just, there's really no need for them. If you're gonna do a grip, I would like to see more of a pattern, not just these three or four rings, but uh, it's not too bad. Clear plastic body, it's pretty tough. These pens definitely will last a long time. Opening up the front piece, and it looks like this unscrews, but when you turn it, it actually unscrews. The whole thing comes off with it, which is a little odd. So it is using this threading, but this uh, entire piece comes and you can see how it works. It's sort of the cone piece, the grip, and then this piece under it. Opening it up, we see a fairly standard zebra type ballpoint refill. Same sort of thing you would see in an F701 or something like that, but longer. So the F701 would be maybe three quarters of this length, maybe 66% of this length. Uh, I don't see any text on there except for that J18, which I'm guessing is the model, but these pens are cheap enough that I'm not really sure that they're technically refillable. And then there's a longish spring, which could be useful in the future if you're trying to do some pen mods, the longer stronger springs tend to be useful. Pretty nice click, pretty satisfying as these clicks go. Uh, this thing, so these edges are a little bit, not sharp, but they'll definitely catch on your skin. So it doesn't have the same sort of refined design of some of the other pens in this class, but then it is fairly cheap. Like I said, you could buy these for uh, like maybe uh, less than 50 cents each. So that's pretty good for a pen that's gonna last this long. Uh, if you buy it in a big pack, uh, you could buy, yeah, 24 of them for like $10. So very affordable. I did wanna do a comparison between the Z-Grip and the Pilot Gel G2. Again, this is a gel pen versus a ballpoint pen, but if you look at them, you can see the designs are very much related. And then I have a Zebra Sarasa. So the Sarasa is like basically the gel version of the Z Grip. Again, both of the gels are a little bit more expensive and they're generally better writing, but they won't last as long as a ballpoint and they're definitely more expensive. And you, you can see the designs are fundamentally the same. Mostly plastic. This one has a tiny little bit of metal in the clip, but otherwise all plastic. Same sort of clear or smoke bodies very similar grips, almost the same nose piece there. 
and then put the Z-grip in the middle. You can see that these things, they look very much related. Clearly the Sarasa and the G2 are direct competitors where the Z-grip is slightly different, but the Z-grip is clearly in that same class of pens that are meant to be sold in like bulk environments, you know, offices that are buying 100 pens at once and they just need to throw a bunch in a cabinet and they need cheap stuff that's gonna last. So do a quick writing sample. Again, this is the Z-grip in the medium, which I believe is a 1.0 millimeter. So this is the Zebra Z-grip medium. Obviously this is black. I bought this in a 24 pack of black and blue. They write the same, so no big deal. So writing with this, it's a ballpoint, but it's clearly a low viscosity ballpoint. They say that on the box and it has a sort of lubricate, lubricated type feel to it. It's definitely smoother than your standard Bic or whatever. It's a nice writing ballpoint. Uh, good color black and it should have good coverage on a lot of different surfaces. Moving over to the, so this is the Pilot G2. And again, this is the gel in a 1.0 millimeter, which is gonna be a lot thicker than a 1.0 millimeter ballpoint, just because of how gels are. Uh, and you can see much wetter, much more saturated color. But flipping the paper, you could see how the, and this is very thin paper, obviously, but you could see how the gel sort of saturates the paper more, whereas the ballpoint sort of sits on top of it. And this, this, this uh, paper is very ink resistant, so you don't see as much bleed through, but on a standard paper, you see a lot more bleed through. The ballpoint sort of pushes into the paper more than the gel. And then just for good measure, we'll do a quick test with the, this is the Zebra Sarasa gel in a 0 0.7 millimeter. Again, the gels are much more saturated and generally a smoother writing experience, but this ballpoint is nice. I like the Z-grip and uh, it's a nice writer. It's not a gel, so you have a little bit more feedback, but it necess not necessarily a bad thing. So yeah, if you're looking for a modern ballpoint pen and you're kind of thinking about a big Atlantis or something like that, I would definitely recommend the Z-grip. I gotta say, it does not look good I don't love the grip, but as far as like the bang for your buck, it's a nice ballpoint and probably one that I've passed over dozens of times before I bought this pack. And I've been pretty happy with it. I really, uh, really can't complain. It's a good pen to have around the office or, you know, having to draw of your kitchen or something like that, but probably not one that gets too much attention because it is a sort of work a day pen. So that's it. Z grip. Thanks for watching.